guys, welcome back to Blotches Pearl and today I'm going to be doing a thumbnail tutorial. I am really, really excited to do this. Uh, it's, it's one of my 500 subscribers special. Thank you all for giving me 500 wonderful supporters who love my videos and actually had the patience and time to watch my videos and subscribe. I am so grateful for all of you and I will be baking something or making something to celebrate and I'll be posting it in my community post. But enough of that, now I'm going to show you how to make a thumbnail. This is going to be um, actually a tutorial and if you've been reading my description, I've been wanting to do this for some time but I don't know, I just stopped and I realised I could do this for a 500 subscriber special. In my other specials, I might do have to create edits and all that type of stuff. But anyways, without further ado, let's just get on with the video. Guys, here I am in the downtown north, which is my green green area. Um, I do have the movie look studio, but I just don't want to use it because sometimes it's really laggy for me. So it goes like all laggy and I don't really like that. So anyways, I'm going to go show you how I'm going to do this. So basically what you have to do is take your character and make sure they're doing something. Like if you shake your character enough, you can snapshot it which i love to do um yeah or if you don't want to do that it's fine but either way you just have to snap through your character with an emotion if you want or any single phase of showing them or of like your character doing what you want them to do in the thumbnail okay and what i do next is that if you don't have an iphone or apple device it's absolutely fine i'm not sure how they do it on android but for apple what you've got to do is either you can zoom in on the character you have or you can just crop this and then you are finished and now you exit tokoboka to procreate the procreate is where i make all my edits get the characters for my thumbnail so this is an edit i did for somebody for their fan art contest it is really cute and i'm going to show you guys how to do things like this but like i'm also going to make the characters um the outfits more customized so i didn't really know what to do for the outfits too much because like i couldn't really change because of suit and how i got good quality on that that's just one of my videos that's for my series this is what i use for my intro that's the face i wanted to draw for some reason and just some pretty normal stuff the thing i use for my series and i edit for one of the nurses these are really really nice and i actually kind of like them so now i'm going to go into the photo in the section in procreate and i'm going to go to the one i chose which is over here I took random screenshots because I couldn't really get the character. So now what you're going to do is that you're going to make a new layer in Procreate. You're going to go to the plus sign. And if you don't have Procreate, you can use any single app that like allows you to have blend modes. Some good alternatives are Autodesk Sketchbook, um, IBS Paint, or anything you're really comfortable with. I use Procreate since I don't really know how to use IBS Paint that much. And yeah. So what you're probably going to do is use a colour picker on your um, drawing um, tool app thing. Colour picker. <laughs> you're going to go into this one. You get your skin tone of your Katoka Boka character. You're going to go and get a brush that's um, like a, like really easy to like draw with. Like you might use but not too sketch, like a sketching brush. Then you're going to go to the colour picker and make, I'm going to zoom this in and make it a bit darker. Then I'm going to make sure I'm on a new layer, that's really important is when you put your blend modes in, you can't really do that on the same layer. And now I'm going to try and do this, like the shadowing, it's kind of hard for me since it takes me kind of a long time. I do it big since it's easier and it looks better but I'm trying not to suppress the hair, so that's for the like type of main face given this is for this i don't like this looks really nice this and um the other arms pretty much just add your own shadow and that's it. Okay, so i have done my shadow and i can lower the opacity of this a bit but before i do that i'm gonna go to the blend modes and make sure your drawing application has blend modes you have to go to darker color and then like it looks way better because it's not too much and i need to make this a bit bigger because the shadow looks a bit too distorted over there so 
So I add a shadow down and I can just leave that, make a new layer and I'm going to add some earrings and some accessories to my character. So for my earrings I want them white since a gold wouldn't really match in this opinion, I don't really want gold. Try and make sure they're proportioned, like don't make one of them a bit like all the way over here and then the other one like there. But I don't want to add two earrings. You can edit your character's clothes if you want to. Um, I'm not I don't really want to do all that so I'm just going to finish. Now what I do is I just merge the layers together. If you're merging in Procreate, please merge them from underneath. Let me show you what I mean. Like don't merge them like this, otherwise they're going to disappear. So you're going to merge and merge them like these. So then I'm done that. Then I'm going to go to the selection tool and make sure it's automatic. So whatever app you are in, just make sure the selection tool is automatic. I'm not sure how you do it on other apps. Then you just tap the green screen background and make sure it's purple. If it's tap any of the character, just undo it and it's not good for it to tap any of the character. So when you know you know if it's selected if it turns purple. Since purple is opposite green in the colour wall, and that's what they do for automatic. Now we're going to go to the rubber tool and make sure we get like a really big brush. So I've got the hard blend brush in Procreate. And what I basically do is just rub out this. It won't rub out any of your character since you selected the green layer. So I'm not really sure how to do this in other places. But if you can't do this on your drawing device, you can go to Magic Eraser and rub your um it on manually or just use color eraser. So then I go to background color over here. Then I go to gallery and I tap select uh, oopsie daisies and I go to select and I tap share make it as a PNG so you can add it to for, to Pixar or whatever app you're going to put all your backgrounds in and it doesn't have to be much. Now I forgot to show you guys this step. Now if you want to you can take a photo of the background you want to use for your um, thumbnail. So I'm going to go to the misplaced thumbnail. We're gonna do a screenshot. You're gonna just take out all the characters for the shot. I'm gonna take away this window clean. I don't really want to turn there. Okay, so yeah, I'm using here is Pixar. First thing you're going to do is that you're gonna to go to um the sorry, not that. You're gonna to go to the um, background that you've took a screenshot. You're going to go to tools, you're going to go to crop, and you're going to go to 16.9. So sometimes this isn't enough and like you see things you don't want to, but you can just crop it a bit more and make it a bit smaller. And then it's still 16.9, so don't worry. Don't worry, it's still 16.9, nothing will change. It's still the YouTube size, just a bit smaller. And after you do that, you can just tap apply. Then what I usually do is I go to effects and I go to blur. So I go blur on my character my thing i might just blur it like four and that's it then i tap add photo sorry not add photo you tap add sticker and then you search up um ray overlay so if you want to just search up ray overlay and actually yep and um, sometimes you can use this one i'm not really exactly sure what i search up for but I um, will put it over here when I find it. So I'm going to use this. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom it in because we want it zoomed in. And like it's proportioned. Now you're going to go to blend modes. Is you're going to go to overlay. Now you might not like it. Like it might be a bit too much for you. Then you can go to opacity and lower the opacity like to like 20%. Maybe if you want it a bit smaller, make it a bit smaller, but that's it. Then you are done that. Then you tap add photo and you add your PNG from your um, drawing, like whatever you used. And you can zoom in your character to put it on whatever you want it. Like if you want it to be a bit shaky like this, you can do like that. After you do that, you go to a border. I used to not put a border, but now I do because it looks better. But I'm not going to put like one of these borders. I'm going to put like a really thin one because it looks better like that. It's a bit too much. Then you go to shadow and you go to position and you go and make it to like the little dot in the middle. And then it's on there. You can see the shadow on the back and it looks really nice. 
So then what I do is I add tap, add sticker, and I search up the Tokoboka logo. Oops, okay, I'm just oopsies and boka. Um, usually there is, uh, sorry, you can search Toka logo, but anyways, you can search any variables because we want it more clear, but the one I found is more clear, like just search Toka logo, and the first one there you're going to choose. Then you're going to do this, because you want people to know the name of the game. I don't like most people know the name of the game you're playing, but some people don't, they want to know. Over there. Then you go over here to like the little thing that looks like a layer button on the top and you go to move down but in this case um i've got layers i think wait okay sorry yup and then you can add it over there and next to your character but if you can't fit it over there i would probably just um, make it a bit smaller put it over here since it's more better and yeah so any other additional stickers you want to add there like if you want to do morning routine you search up skin care toka you can obviously add which one you want i don't really mind um yeah so it's okay add like um extra graphics which you need which i don't need any extra graphics um now i'm gonna go Sometimes you can put a filter over your things, so you can sometimes put like simple and then I'm not sure what these actually when I just have them here. You can put gold on here and glow and any of that, but I don't want to add any of these. Now you just save this to your photos and we're gonna go into Fonto. So when you first open Fonto, it brings you this black checkered screen. So what you have to do is go to photo albums. Then go over here and tap done. Then you can type your name and write whatever you want. So I can write how to, because I don't want all the in the same font. Um, I'm just gonna leave it like this. I just wanna like write the actual text. Make a. I usually put it with a shadow. So how I added a shadow is what I went to style. I went to shadow, and I chose one of these and it like, and I put it in black because it, it makes it more easier to see. Make a. And you can just go to style i like and i saved it basically you can save styles in fonto how you do that you tap save this style and i've saved them so obviously i have it over here so that's what i also use for my watermark so then what you do is like that how to make a thumbnail and people just like it like that but i don't want to do that so first of all i have to choose my fonts um i can do this adelia i want to use adelia um all these fonts were downloaded from that font is a free website where you can literally download any single font you want and use it for any use. Obviously, you have to pay for commercial use, but this isn't commercial use. So I'm fine. Okay, use chicken pie height, and I want a cursive font for this, so I might get better together. Or if I don't like that one, I'm gonna go. Gonna use Mafuria. Just position where you want your um, text. And obviously you can change it. I'm just here changing it since I don't like that. Let me see cherry. I've got a lot of fonts here, but it's okay. Save so thumbnail. Obviously, if you don't like it like this, you can change the colours. So stroke, you can get like this stroke, make it more thicker and then leave it. Obviously, I don't want that because I don't like it on here. I'm going to change the stroke of this and make it a bit not too thick, but not too thin because it looks a bit weird. If I do. And make sure the colours actually match. So you can use a colour wheel and like use opposite colours to each other. You know? Yep. Because um, pink is opposite yellow. So I'm going to go to style and I'm going to make the stroke yellow. Sometimes if you don't get the colour you want, you can t use these sliders and it might, it'll probably give you the colour you want. So, like, if I want a really bright yellow or really light yellow.
okay guys so this is all it um also what i want to show you guys is how to add um the the, the pixel text bubble speech and i'm actually gonna add that over here so i'm gonna save this no sorry what you have to do next is you just tap this little share icon and you tap save image which is over here okay now i'm in color tone so what i've got to do is tap import in color tone tap the how to make a thumbnail and to add because you want to add this in then oopsies and then go to edit and then you can choose any like filter you want like if you want this if you want this like i like most of these filters but obviously you have to pay for it and you know no, no, you don't want to pay for this if you don't want to so what i can do what i can do is i tap say i don't even know how to pronounce that i put that one it has a really nice filter if you don't like the filter you can just tap on it again and you can just reduce the inten intensity I'll just put a 70 then i scroll all the way over here to sharpen and you can just sharpen your thumbnail if you want it i don't want too much sharpen so i'll just tap that virginia you can add virginia which makes it more darker like to add a more scary effect to your videos i like if you want it more darker i might just I don't want to add that too much. Um, you can just do whatever you want. When you're finished, you tap share and you tap save. And then it's saved. Here is our thumbnail.